I think I used the wrong syringe. It's fine though. There we go. Oh. So you guys might be wondering what the sound coming from the right is, and that is the Eye of Cthulhu. You see, I have been a VCB, and I've actually captured this creature, and then also some of its offspring. Which brings us to this moment over here. Now, I am going to try and terminate the Eye of Cthulhu, and to do that, I need Bob over Oh, oops. I also realized you can't see my cursor, guys, so, uh... There we go. Oh, oh, cursor's back. Which is why I've got this syringe, which is a mutation termination syringe. And it should uh, it should terminate this little guy over here and in turn, you know, make Cthulhu over there on the right really mad and potentially die of sorrow. <laughs> At least that's the hope. All right, Bob. Off you go. So it just uh, it's not going to be that deadly or at all. It's not going to be that scary. But for this to work, you might want to... You might want to swap around the syringe a little bit like that, maybe. Oh, don't stab yourself with it. That's a bad idea. Here we go. And stab. Stab. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Is it worth it? Bob? Okay, but why are, you, why, are you, why are you fainting? You're not supposed to faint. You're the one doing the experiments. Okay, back up. Bob is on the way. Ah, punch the thing. Come on, take it over its misery. Um, a little bit more of this, maybe. There you go. Yeah, one damage. That's what I like to see. Okay, so I'm assuming that this little syringe here is, oops, not actually cutting it. And I think I severed Bob's limbs over there. Now, how are you doing over here? Not coming up to anything crazy, are you? Just stay right there, because I will be back to you once I've found a solution that works. Now, I think we need to go into some more serious things here, which is why, oh God. Uh, Bob, if you could grab the gun, that would be great. Could you just help? Crap. Okay. Well, I actually did something. It did a little bit of damage. Um, we're gonna use this gun against this little guy, and uh, it's gonna be the last thing he ever breathes. So here we go. Just shoot this a couple of times. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I terminated it. I terminated it. <laughs> There's nothing. Oh my god. Oh, it's come. No. What? Uh oh. Well, problem. Um. The Eye of Cthulhu is officially loose, and I need to figure a way on how to catch it again. It wasn't easy the first time. I just need to assemble a crew of some sort. Here we've got Bob, and he's got Captain America's shield ready to take care of the Eye of Cthulhu. Hmm, okay. Now also, a little side note. This little, this little Cthulhu guy, as soon as I spawn anybody in, he's going straight for him. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually a little bit too powerful for my liking, and there's nothing I can do about it because this is the way it was born, and I need to stop it somehow. Send in the cavalry, which is why I've now got a tank ready to take care of Cthulhu. Now, where's Cthulhu? There he is. Um, okay, one. Wait, hold up. Um, okay, stop, stop, stop running, stop running. There you go. Okay, Cthulhu, prepare to meet your maker. Oh, I might have to, might have to do that. Oopsie. Kabamo! Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Am I seeing the right thing here? Is Cthulhu just deflecting the bullets from the tank? That can't be. Phew, after a long battle, I think I finally managed to catch it. So, without further ado, let's just get Bob in here, okay? I know that Cthulhu, as soon as I spawn Bob, he's gonna go a little bit crazy. So let's just hope for the best then. And, oh, uh-oh. Let's just hope one of my ropes there will hold. Or scaffoldings. Come on, please don't charge against Bob. It's fine. Cthulhu can't hurt you, Bob. You're okay. Rockets, gun, shooty, shooty. Right then. Let, why don't you just grab hold, hold of this thing? I, I bet you won't even be able to hold it properly because it's such a big thing. Okay, if you could just grab it. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. Gra there you go. It's all good. Okay, now point that weapon at IF Cthulhu. Here we go. Yes. Oh, I think I'm not. Uh, Bob? Bob! <laughs> I think I actually accidentally dismembered him. It's fine, though. I have Cthulhu over here. I think I've actually done it. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, what has happened? What is that? And why does it look like strange? <laughs> I think I think there might be some bugs over here. Anyway, I think I have Cthulhu has actually transformed into the second face, which is even worse. Okay, so if, if I just if I just uh, oh my god, if I do spawn ball over there, oh no, no good. He, she, the, I have Cthulhu is grabbing all the scaffolding with it and actually doing a lot of damage. What am I supposed to do? I think I know exactly what to do because this syringe here will make Bob into a monster, just like Cthulhu. So this should be 
just fine. Hydra mutate, what would be the most effective way against Cthulhu? Maybe the lantern fish mutation syringe. This looks, sounds new. So we're just gonna see how it works. I guess little Bob over here. Maybe he can take on Cthulhu after this. Oh boy, oh, uh, Bob. Uh, Bob, Bob, I didn't know you would turn into a titan. Oh my God, Bob is growing so bad and he's gone. Um, Bob, uh, hello, are you, are you okay? Is, uh, is this, is this the transformation? Um, as far as I can tell, uh, there's like a Bob standing over here. What is this? Okay, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just see if Bob can handle the Eye of Cthulhu. Here we go. And he cannot handle that. Even, even the slightly invisible thing. Oh God. Is gone, so that's not good. I know this looks scary, Bob, but don't you worry about it. I have secured the Eye of Cthulhu thoroughly to the ground. It doesn't matter how much he tries, you will not be injured. Not at least until I've injected you with some funky looking syringes. So we've got some new stuff over here. One of them, of course, was this, the lanternfish, which is not actually completely normal. And then we've got the jellyfish mutation. Maybe more limbs will be better against the, um, whoops, against the eye of Cthulhu. So I'll just put that in here. There you go. And what is, what is even happening right now? Uh, is Bob just, oh my Lord, that is so many limbs. That is just, that's an insane amount of limbs. That is, this is going to work. I can just feel it. Bob is mutating into his second form and he's just, just ready to go at any time. Cthulhu, what are you going to do about it? Okay. Well, if you, you know, if you take care of the sores, which is the head, the limbs will stop working. Great, great job, Cthulhu. Great, great job. Thankfully, I've got an abundance of bobs and I've yet again secured Cthulhu to the ground because that's the only way I can contain him for as long as it takes to turn Bob into something able to defeat it. So I've got an idea, okay? We're gonna use the cannibal mutation syringe. I know it's a basic syringe, but it'll turn Bob into a slightly bigger version of himself. There you go, he's all a little bit, a little bit mad. And then we're gonna use this, the teleumeries. Enable the mutation growth to continue after it stopped. And this way we can turn Bob into the biggest human something this world has ever seen. Did I use the right syringe? I really hope I used the right syringe. Is this the right, uh, He's got like three arms or something. And um, what about this? Is this the one? There you go. Yes. Oh, I think I used the wrong syringe. It's fine though. There we go. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Well, there's a limb. What happens if we release him right now? What? Where will he go? Because I've got no frames, by the way. Here we go. Where will you? Okay, so it turns out I've actually killed Bob before Cthulhu had a chance to kill him. Great. 10 out of 10. Now, my second idea is the starfish mutation syringe. So you know, if Bob gets severed into a million pieces or whatever, he will regrow into more humans. This, if anything, is gonna make Cthulhu just regret fighting against Bob ever, man. There's nothing Cthulhu can do against Bob right now, man. I promise you, look at that. Yeah, there's a leg here. Well, dream about it, because Bob's coming back. I think Bob. Please grow. Please grow back, Bob. Also, where the hell did Cthulhu go? Um, Cthulhu's up here. Where's, where's Bob? Bob! I don't think it worked. So we're gonna spawn a new Bob over here. And before Cthulhu can get to me, I'm gonna inject him with the same syringe. Which... <sighs> okay, this time. Here we go. So just put Bob over there. And... So you... you stay there and wait. We need to fight on fair grounds. Also, I think Bob's still alive because there's a head over here. Now, this might be a little bit sketchy, but Bob is kind of... Ooh, parasite. Oh, oh. Activate the upper body to release that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, we're going to use the parasite. Oh, oh, that sounds fantastic. Here we go. Okay, Bob, turn into a parasite. Um, how do I, how do I actually turn him into a parasite? How does this, does it need to be in him for a bit? Um, but, oh my god, it worked. Look, oh my god, it's okay. This is insane. Look, if I spawn another Bob over here, the tentacles are gonna attack it. <gasps> oh my god, okay. This, if anything, is gonna take care of Cthulhu once and for all, man. There's no way Cthulhu can handle a Bob with like tentacles for heads. <sighs> I had high hopes for that one. I really thought that was gonna, I thought that was the one. I thought the parasite was gonna do it. I, pr I promise guys, I really thought, I thought Bob was gonna be invincible this time. Because how could
could you not? So I actually think it's a better idea to use something abnormally strong against Cthulhu here because clearly normal humans infused with whatever the hell is in these syringes is not gonna cut it. So that's why I've enlisted One Punch Man. Now we all know he's pretty much immune to everything, but so far Cthulhu here has just ripped everything to shreds. So uh, One Punch Man, go at it. <gasps> he's able to withstand Cthulhu. Okay, now let's just, uh, whoop. Where did One Punch Man go? One Punch Man, there he is. He's falling, he's slowly falling down. To oh God, here's the thing. Cthulhu is unable to hurt One Punch Man. So there is a rhyme to the reason here. Can, can you can you punch, man? Can you can you do the punch? Come on, punch, punch Cthulhu. Here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, um, oh, I had the perfect idea. Why you target him? We can spawn a normal human here, and he's gonna be safe from the attacks of Cthulhu. And then we can use the parasite syringe to turn Bob into a parasite, and the parasites will attack Cthulhu. Oh God, and that will be the end of it. Look at this. Ah. I think this is actually the first time I've ever seen One Punch Man being lifted off the ground by anything else but me. And Cthulhu is even losing a little bit of health just punching at him. All right, One Punch Man, I need you to hold on for a little bit longer because we're going to turn... Sp oh, whoops. Because we're going to turn Bob into Spider-Man. There we go. Okay, this. This is the time. Okay, and then... But then, then, we're going to infuse him with... Uh, wing Mutation Syringe. Sure. Whatever to make Spider-Man stronger. There you go. Did he go? Oh, I forgot. Spider-Man has armor now, so he can't actually be hurt. Okay, it's fine. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Did we do it? Good job, Spider-Man. <gasps> Cthulhu is almost dead. Do it. Shoot some more. <laughs> this is all thanks to One Punch Man. Without One Punch Man, this would not work. Oh, my God. He's pushing One Punch Man. I can't follow them. One Punch Man. Do something! Uh, oh god, this is getting a little bit difficult to control this. Any second now, we should see One Punch Man hit the wall. Uh, there he is! <laughs> okay. Um, th yeah, this is a little bit crazy, this. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna delete One Punch... I'm gonna delete... I can't delete One Punch Man. Son of a... You guys need to freaking relax right now. One Punch Man, see you later, buddy. We're back at the default setting. We've got Eye of Cthulhu strapped to the ground again and regular Bob waiting to take care of him. Now, what could I use to just take care of it? Wait, what if... Okay, this might be a little bit a little bit too much, but what if I injected Eye of Cthulhu with one of these... What if I made Eye of Cthulhu into the Eater of Worlds? For those of you who played Terraria, know what I'm talking about. Here we go! Um, it's not... It's not working. Let's use this pink syringe on Bob. What could possibly go wrong? There you go. So... The starfish mutated to attach itself to the starfish. Okay. Well then. Cthulhu, all yours. Okay. The Cthulhu is still chasing some body parts over here. I think Bob is regrowing. Oh. And Bob is not regrowing anymore. As far as I can tell, there's pretty much no way to take care of I of Cthulhu. Um, except for using One Punch Man or something like that. But I've thought of another way. Say hello to my favorite weapon. Okay. And just to make this a little bit more interesting. We're going to put everything inside a box, and this should be able to contain Cthulhu, and it sure is. Cthulhu is not able to escape it anymore. It is a containment worthy of s containing Cthulhu. Oh, crap! He destroyed the bomb! That's not good. I need to send you in there. No, no. I, I, I need to send you in there. And to do so, we're going to equip you with the Kamikaze belt. There you go. Okay, Bob, it's all you, buddy. How do you, how does this work? Oh, I think I need to agitate the bomb a little bit for this to go off. Yeah, there you go, okay. You're gonna take care of the Eye of Cthulhu, man. You're doing this for the greater good. Okay, why doesn't the bomb, the bomb is not going off. Cthulhu, ah! Damn it, it's still at half health. I guess there truly was only one way to take care of him. <laughs> what? It's still alive! <laughs> 